areas you can see are vast flat plains called Maria, from the Latin word for sea. I saw the dark shadows and thought that they were vast expanses of water. You are looking at an image of Earth called the Blue Marble. It is an astronaut's view of the planet we call home. And this beautiful image is stitched together from pictures sent back from the many satellites that orbit Earth, high above our heads. You can see oceans, continents, clouds, and the ice and snow of the North and South Poles. Swirls of clouds called cyclones gather over the South Atlantic. From the North Atlantic, you can see a stream of clouds heading for the UK. We've long sought to understand the universe and our place within it. We use our eyes, telescopes, and now spacecraft that send back images and information, not only of Earth, but of other worlds in space. The largest planet in the solar system. These images were taken by the Cassini spacecraft and clearly show Jupiter's distinctive stripes. These bands of color are made up of different types of gas that are being blown around the planet's surface. The light colored gases are rising upwards while the dark red ones are sinking. Some of the winds on Jupiter blow almost 500 kilometers per hour Earth. You are looking at Io, one of Jupiter's largest moons. Jupiter is so a combination of images taken by two different spacecraft that explored Jupiter and its moons, Voyager in the 1970s and Galileo in the 1990s describe the planet as having its own solar system. Io's surface is covered in hundreds of active volcanoes, spewing sulfurous gases and deposits. These give the moon its vivid yellow colour and its striking appearance has earned Io the nickname the Pizza. Io is one of the four Galilean moons of Jupiter, first discovered by and named after the astronomer Galileo over 400 years ago. The other three moons are called Ganymede, Europa, and Callisto was assumed to have crashed. Then, in 2015, an orbiting spacecraft found the lander just north of the planet's equator. It had landed successfully, but only a few kilometers from the center of its target area. You can see a model of Beagle 2 in this gallery. Mars owed to the presence of iron oxides in its surface rocks. The large crack you can see in the middle of the planet is Valles Marineris, a canyon over 4,000 kilometers long and some two and a half kilometers deep. Our journey through the solar system and beyond reveals the power of space technology today. We are using it to learn more about our own planet, our neighbors in the solar system, and even planets far beyond Earth in deep space. But it is actually an artist's impression of what a distant Earth-like planet might look like. In this imagined world, you can see continents, oceans, and clusters of cloud. The Kepler spacecraft has discovered over a thousand planets in other star systems. We call these worlds exoplanets, and some are believed to have the right conditions to support life. However, vast distances separate us from most exoplanets. One recently discovered exoplanet, Kepler-452b, is 1,400 light years from the Earth. This means light would take 1,400 years to reach it, while a spacecraft would take 25 million This view of the Sun was captured by NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory over five days in 2011. The bright flashes you can see are coronal mass ejections and solar flares. These are caused by contortions in the sun's magnetic field and can occur several times a week. We have sent spacecraft to study the sun and help us predict when these fiery eruptions might occur in the future. This allows us to protect satellites in Earth's orbit that can be harmed by intense... The sun is a scorching 5,500 degrees Celsius, but it is just the right distance from Earth to provide the heat and light needed to support life. The eight planets of the solar system revolve around the Sun, held in orbit by its intense gravitational pull. This is next door in our Making the Modern World gallery. Here in the Explorer Space Gallery, 
You can see a piece of moon rock that was collected from the lunar surface by astronaut David Scott in 1971. Days. The moon is the only other place in the solar system where humans have set foot. Astronauts first landed on the moon in July 1969, with Neil Armstrong famously declaring that he had made one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Like Mercury, the moon is covered in craters from countless asteroid and meteorite impacts over millions of years. Some of the craters are over two billion years old. Mars is often thought of as a potential new home for humankind, and many hope that it will be the next destination for astronauts to explore. In recent decades, a variety of unmanned missions, including orbiting spacecraft, landers and rovers, have explored Mars. The Beagle 2 lander touched down on Christmas Day in 2003, but never sent a signal back to Earth. Mercury's surface is heavily cratered from asteroid and meteorite impacts. Messenger has also sent back images of step-like cliffs, which tell scientists that the planet is slowly shrinking. Mercury shares its name with a fleet-footed Roman god. Unlike its mythical namesake, the planet is the fastest to orbit the sun, doing so. The closest planet to the sun is Mercury. It is also the smallest planet in the solar system. Because Mercury is so close to the sun, it is very difficult to send spacecraft there, and only a few have made the journey. This stunning composite image, which has been artificially colored blue and yellow, was captured by NASA's Messenger spacecraft, which reached Mercury in 2011.